there are many planes of existence between humans' existence and ascension. A plane is conceived as a subtle state, level, or region of reality. Each plane corresponding to some type, kind, or category of being. As you pass through the planes on the circle, which is spiraling, you recombine with the rest of your entity. Then with other entities, becoming more and more merged with the total consciousness of the universe. The material or physical plane, the plane of force, the spiritual plane, the mental plane, the divine plane of truth, the plane of divine reality and the union with the all. These seven planes also have sub-planes or counterparts. The common mistake is looking at the planes as layers of fine matter lying one above the other in space. Keep in mind there is no such thing as space because space is always fill. Planes are distinct and intricate moods of vibration, woven into one another so uniquely that one cannot determine where one plane begins and the other ends. Everything you see, taste, smell or feel is a vibration frequency, sound, color, light, number and letter. The natural mood of vibration ranges from very high and fast, to very low and slow. Keep in mind everything in the universe is in constant motion, nothing in creation rests. Although there is a rest point, there are seven heavens as well. The lowest and the slowest vibrating one is the material or physical plane while the fastest and highest is the plane where one is in total union with the all. These planes are divided up into three worlds or realms. What is a realm? A royal domain, kingdom. The region, sphere, or domain within which anything occurs, prevails, or dominates. The highest or first is called Lahat, the realm of God or the Most High. The second is called Malakut, the realm of the angelic beings. The third is called Nazat, the realm of the mortals. These three are one called Hayulai. Plane shifts and gates can transport adventurers directly to any other plane of existence, with different degrees of precision. The physical or material plane is the governor of carnal desire. The human beings dwell on the physical plane. It is governed by the number three. Person, place, and thing which are nouns. It is made up of solids, liquids, and gases. The physical plane, the second of the planes, is where you experience solidity, separateness, and forgetfulness. The higher forces can also be held accountable for the many so-called wonders and supernatural phenomenon of the material plane. You agree to forget your past experiences here in order to experience something new. Most of our discussion deals with the phenomenon of the physical plane. If you feel that everything that exists, exists outside of this plane. You are wrong. There is still a lot to be uncovered on this plane. There are many more forms or states of being within the physical plane. This largely composed of etheric duplicates of objects on the physical plane, or counterparts. Etheric refers to the spiritual part of you. As above so below. You are connected to the spirit world through your etheric cord. Etheric cords or cords of attachment are a common term used in energy healing and spiritual circles. We all have etheric cords. You are born with them. Etheric cords are energy structures cords that connect from within your energy bodies, aura, chakras etc. and extend out of you. It can connect with other people, places, animals, objects, situations, and past events. When you connect with someone by interacting with them or even by thinking or talking about someone, you will create an etheric cord with them. An energetic cord will extend out of you and connect with that person. It can be as simple as wherever you place your focus you will cord it, as in record. Which mean to cord again and again. You create etheric cords as ways to connect with things that are around you. Etheric cords can attach anywhere on your body although there are certain areas of the body which are more common. As an example, etheric cords that connect at and around the solar plexus chakra, personal power, tend to be from cords that attach due to normal daily activities. Etheric cords that attached at and around the sacral chakra, emotion slash sex, tend to be associated more with romantic partners. Once connected, you will then start to receive energetic information from this person. This information is carried back to you via the cord. 
the etheric cord is very much like a probe that transports energetic information back to you. This information is then processed and decoded. This is how you sometimes know if you like or dislike someone even before you interact. The Akashic Records also called the Book of Life, which is kept in Malakut slash the Divine Truth Plane Fifth Dimension, in a star system called Lyra. The Akashic Records exist solely for the purpose of record keeping. It is an energetic computer which stores all experiences in the universe. It provides a place where the memories of everything that happens, all thoughts, emotions, and physical experiences are stored on crystals and can be looked up later for reference. The Akashic Record is that neutral place that observes the games that take place on the other planes and provides a reference source which entities on the other planes can tap into. In a sense, it is the instinctive center for the universe as a whole. The instinctive center in the human body remembers and records all experiences from life to life. The Akashic Record remembers all experiences in the universe from its conception to its hues. When the universe completes its cycle and is ready to spin off a new baby universe, it is given a copy of the Akashic Record as its parent's seed. Thus, one of the purposes of the Akashic Record is to provide for the procreation of the universe as a whole. The plane of force is the force between voluntary and involuntary actions. The plane of force and the physical plane work together in perfect harmony. The plane of force is governed by a force called attraction and is all around us, and it's as much a part of our makeup as the material plane. Forces act in all planes. The plane of force also called the vertical plane is the plane that is perpendicular to the ground. If an object is not accelerating downward there must be a force acting opposite of the gravitational force, but in the same plane. These forces can be normal forces or tension or magnetic forces. The gravity is the plane of force. Gravity is the force that attracts a body toward the center of the earth, or toward any other physical body having mass. The gravitational force is a force that attracts any two objects with mass. We call the gravitational force attractive because it always tries to pull masses together, it never pushes them apart. In fact, every object, including you, is pulling on every other object in the entire universe. Magnetic force is also gravitational force. Frictional force refers to the force generated by two surfaces that contacts and slide against each other. A few factors affecting the frictional force, these forces are mainly affected by the surface texture and amount of force impelling them together. The tension force is defined as the force that is transmitted through a rope, string, or wire when pulled by forces acting from opposite sides. The tension force is directed over the length of the wire and pulls energy equally on the bodies at the ends. The repulsive or attractive interaction between any two charged bodies is called as an electric force. Similar to any force, its impact and effects on the given body are described by Newton's laws of motion. The electric force is among the list of other forces that exert over objects. The normal force is the force that surfaces exert to prevent solid objects from passing through each other. Normal force is a contact force. If two surfaces are not in contact, they can't exert a normal force on each other. Air resistance force describes the forces that are in opposition to the relative motion of an object as it passes through the air. These drag forces act opposite to the oncoming flow velocity, thus slowing the object down. An applied force is a force that is applied to an object by a person or another object. If a person is pushing a desk across the room, then there is an applied force acting upon the object. The applied force is the force exerted on the desk by the person. Spring force the force needed to extend or compress a spring by some distance, x, scales linearly with respect to that distance that is, f, equals kx, where k is a constant factor characteristic of the spring, and x is small compared to the total possible deformation of the spring. You are not able to detect it because your senses are not conditioned. However, Beyond the subplanes of etheric duplicates of the plane of force is a waste reservoir of forces which very few have knowledge of these forces which control the forces that result in what we know to be nature. The spiritual plane is where the emotions are manifest. 
Mystics and seekers experience higher states of consciousness as they ascend on the path of spirituality. The force that attracts a body toward the center of the earth, or toward any other physical body having mass. On the spiritual plane. There is no distance. Temperature, seasons, days, or nights and it is not subject to gravitation. The spiritual plane is also the astral plane which is where you recombine with the other members of your soul entity and deal with emotional lessons. It is also where you begin to experience true sexuality, the complete combining of two or more essences in thought, feeling, and being. You are in complete contact with your essence twin on the astral plane where you share all your experiences between lives. On the mental plane, you have direct intellectual contact with the angelic beings and your family members who have passed away. You continue combining with other essences and soul entities to experience the total merging of being. On this plane, you have an intellectual perception of the whole. You recognize truth objectively. Yahshua Jesus was a manifestation of the infinite soul who taught from this plane. The mental plane is the fourth highest plane. It is spirit and soul outgrown. The mental plane is divided into seven sub-planes. In the mental world one formulates a thought and it is instantly transmitted to the mind of another without any expression in the form of sound words. Therefore on the mental plane language does not matter in the least. But helpers working in the physical world, who have not yet the power to use the mental vehicle which activate their telepathy skills. The logic plane is part of the mental plane. The logic plane is the highest plane in the mental plane, it has been described as a plane of total oneness. Logic is reasoning conducted or assessed according to strict principles of validity. A system or set of principles underlying the arrangements of elements in a computer or electronic device so as to perform a specified task. Logic is the systematic study of valid rules of inference, i.e. the relations that lead to the acceptance of one proposition on the basis of a set of other propositions. More broadly, logic is the analysis and appraisal of arguments. With logic you create another reality called cause and effect. Cause and effect is a logical system that organizes evidence to show how something happened. Description, a cause and effect question, how did this happen? Cause is a person or thing that gives rise to an action, phenomenon, or condition. A principle, aim, or movement, because of a deep commitment, one is prepared to defend or advocate. Effect is a change which is a result or consequence of an action or other cause. What goes around comes around. The consequences of one's actions will have to be dealt with eventually. To treat someone badly over a period of time, for example by making them do things that are not necessary or by telling them things that are not true. The divine truth plane is where the guardian angelic beings dwell. All souls are born on the divine plane and then descend down through the lower planes, however souls will work their way back to the divine plane. On the divine plane souls can be open to conscious communication with the sphere of the divine known as the absolute and receive knowledge about the nature of reality. The plane of divine reality is the spark of life. The divine reality is what allows the universal truth to be understood and overstood. It constitutes, another way in which the divine reality behind the world invades our lives. Divine love works on these two planes, the divine truth plane and the divine reality plane. The most fundamental feature of divine love is that it tends to transcend itself. In other words, it has a strong urge to overcome itself, which in turn leads to an equally strong urge for creation. That's why we say that without divine love nothing would be created. What is love? Love is life itself. True love stands there in the time of danger, and would risk its greatest gift, which is its very own life to see that another love one survives. The most powerful love of all is for a man to lay down his life for a friend. True love would give you the shirt off its back and never at a later time would it come back to throw in your face what it has done for you. MJB. What is fear? They say fear is death, but there is no such thing as death. People only pass on to a higher dimension. Fear is the true opposite of true love, which is divine love. The seventh plane, the union with the all is the eternal bliss. 
Becoming one with the All has been a spiritual, mystical, and religious goal since man has been placed on earth. Being one with the All means that you understand that there is no number but one. Everything is one, one band one sound. The measurement from base to top or, of a standing person, from head to foot. What is quantum physics? Quantum physics is the study of matter and energy at its most fundamental level. Quantum physics is that energy which comes in indivisible packets called quanta. Quanta particles can behave like waves, and waves behave as if though they are particles. Quantum reality, or quantum universe, was the term used to describe the alternate timelines in which all possible outcomes for any event takes place. Each quantum reality was its own separate parallel universe characterized by a unique quantum signature which could not be altered. All matter resonated on a quantum level with the signature within the universes. A warp bubble, also known as a static warp bubble or static warp field, is a type of subspace deformation, a warp in the fabric of space. Some individuals, such as those native to the planet Tau Alpha C, were capable of manipulating warp bubbles with their minds. A person could become trapped within a warp bubble, escaping would depend on creating a stable threshold between the warp bubble and the outside environment. What is a black hole? A black hole is a place in space where gravity pulls so much that even light cannot get out. The gravity is so strong because matter has been squeezed into a tiny space. This can happen when a star is dying. Because no light can get out, people can't see black holes. They are invisible. Why, we can't even take photographs of anything that takes place inside a black hole if light cannot escape their immense gravity, then nothing can be snapped by a camera. Black holes have a positive side and a negative side. Black holes do lead to another part of a galaxy or another universe, there would need to be something opposite to them on the other side. The negative side sucks in matter and the positive side release matter. Unlike the negative side of the black hole, the positive side will allow light and matter to leave, but light and matter will not be able to enter. Far from destroying the information that it absorbs, the collapse of a black hole instead experience a quantum bounce, allowing information to escape. Black holes create a loop, tunnel, or time dilatation in space. It is a slowing of time in accordance with the theory of relativity that occurs in a system in motion relative to an outside observer and that becomes apparent especially as the speed of the system approaches that of light. It is called also time dilatation. How are black holes formed? Black holes form when the center of a very massive star collapses in upon itself. This collapse also causes a supernova, or an exploding star, that blasts part of the star into space. Scientists think supermassive black holes formed at the same time as the galaxy, they are in black holes serving as a portal. A portal is a general term for a stationary interplanar connection that links a specific location on one plane to a specific location on another. Some portals are like doorways, a clear window, or a fog-shrouded passage, and simply stepping through it affects the interplanar travel. Others are location circles of standing stones, soaring towers, sailing ships, or even whole towns that exist in multiple planes at once or flicker from one plane to another in turn. Some are vortexes, typically joining an elemental plane with a very similar location on the material plane, such as the heart of a volcano, leading to the plane of fire, or the depths of the ocean, to the plane of water. Some are time vortex like what was open in 1943 doing the Philadelphia experiment. Now this time vortex open every 10 years from then. 1953, 1963, 1973, 1983, 1993, 2003, 2013, 2023, 2033 and 2043. All these years mark a time in history. If you go back to these years you would see that on these years something different happen every year. Also in fluid dynamics, a vortex is a region in a fluid in which the flow revolves around an axis line, which may be straight or curved. Vortexes form in stirred fluids, and may be observed in smoke rings, whirlpools in the wake of a boat, and the wind surrounding tropical cyclones, hurricanes, tornadoes, or dust devils. 
The time vortex, also known as the space-time vortex, sometimes simply the vortex. Vortices open up a wormhole through the sixth dimension on one side and put you out on the other side back in the same dimension, but it could be in a different time from when you enter. The time vortex exists outside of any normal frame of reference. Within it, light, darkness, matter and energy all blend, divide, shift and change. It underlines the whole of creation, touching the normal universe only slightly. Its pathways are twisted, unstable and hard to follow. A journey through these strange dimensions might take a moment and carry a traveler a million years and a billion light years from his, her, or its origin. Alternatively, a journey of months in the vortex might end in a shift of six to ten days in conventional space. Without being...